Yo, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm going to get a little more efficient by retiring these RX 580s in this beautiful Crypto Cavern server case with some GPUs that'll do the same mega hash for way less wattage. So I got a lot of GPUs sitting around. You can see some of them stacked up behind me here. And I just I have a ton of work to do. And I figured probably the easiest thing to do to feel like I'm making a little bit of progress in that work is getting some GPUs replaced with some more efficient ones. And I felt like this was going to be a great candidate for that. So these are all RX 580s or XFX editions. These are sent over by Crypto Caverns. I'll link to my video on this server case up in the card right there. It's been absolutely rock solid. These GPUs have been an absolute pleasure, but they take so much wattage. You know, they're older GPUs, though they're still killer for mining. There's better GPUs out there. And so I took a look at some of the ones I had sitting around and I decided it's time to get these out and get some new GPUs in. So I'm going to replace these XFX ones with some more XFX GPUs. Uh, so you can see these here. And these are great. These are 6600 XTs. I have eight of them ready to go. So what I'm going to do is swap out all of these, get those installed. So let's get going right now. And I'll just talk my way through it as we go. Taking a look here at the server case, just in case you haven't seen it before. It's really simple, but it's really well built, right? It's got the fans right here. They're going to blow air through the cards and it's got XFX cards in it right now. All RX 580s on a riserless motherboard. Power supply is integrated right here. And the reason I chose these are uh, these 6600 XTs is because this comes with just a single eight pin, which is going to be great because that's exactly what these XFX 6600 XTs have as well. So let me get all of these disconnected. We'll get them unscrewed, get them out of here and get some new GPUs slotted in. And what I was really thinking as I was doing this is, man, this should cut down the wattage like my hash rate should stay pretty much the same, but this should cut down the wattage by like half, I think. The 6600s are just killer cards. These are the XTs. I have both 6600s and 6600 XTs. They're both tremendous. I actually really enjoy the 6600s just a little bit more. They wound up being more efficient in all my testing. I'll link to those videos comparing them up in the card over there as well, but for right now, what I thought would be really cool is I think these will do like 31, 32 mega hash, which is pretty much exactly what these RX 580s are doing. Here's a look at one just in case you haven't seen them before. But that's exactly what these are doing. And I was just like, man, why am I sitting around with these 6600 XTs on the shelf when I could swap them out to the RX 580s and be putting up the same hash save on power, less heat, all that good stuff. So tonight's the night, tonight's the night and we're making it happen. All right, so let's see, we got a couple more left to get out of here. And at first I was like, man, maybe I'll put some like GDR 6X uh, cards in here. You're talking like 3080s, 3070 Ti's that I really want to get in a server case. Um, but the fact that these have the single eight pin, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but that single eight pin comes right, it doesn't even come off the power supply, it comes right off the motherboard here. So I was like, maybe I can split it to go to like dual eight pin cards, but I was kind of nervous about that. I also don't exactly know what power supply is in this. So I figured, what the hell, let's just get some 6600 XTs in here and call it a day. All right, so taking a look at the empty server case, really, really simple. That's it, it's got its NC to drive right here, power supply is here, RAM is here, processor, I think is tucked under here somewhere. Um, and then it's just got the power going to the motherboard and then power coming off that. And then a couple of fans on here as well. One of them's not working, but it'll be fine for the 6600 XTs. And that's it. So let me get these GPUs slotted in wired up and we'll check right back looking really good all the gpus are powered on this mining rig is working if you've been paying attention and you noticed it yeah six of these cards are the same exact xfx cards and two of them are different and yes that's gonna keep me up at night but gotta make do with what i have and so we're just gonna move on so it's in hive west right now 
let's take a look at how it's doing. Switching over here, you can see all the GPUs performing excellent. 32 mega hash each. I mean, this thing just booted right up. I set overclocks and we were off and running and we're getting 32 mega hash on this rig. You can see it again reported here in the mining software. And we're getting, what are we getting? 257.6 mega hash for this entire rig. Now, the one thing I did want to look at is some comparisons to when I had the 580s in here previously. And I recorded this video back in November. And this is when I put the 580s in here that were doing around 30, 31 mega hash each. So we gained a little bit of mega hash, maybe like eight, nine mega hash uh, per, you know, per this whole rig. But the one thing is look at that wattage. I was pulling 100, uh, 1,021 watts on this entire rig. And so I'm curious to see what I'm doing right now, getting a little more mega hash with these different GPUs. So I have this entire server case plugged in to my meter that I built, and you can see exactly what we are pulling. Just under 600 watts at the wall. We are down an incredible amount of wattage for even more mega hash than I had before. So I'm really excited at how this turned out. Definitely feel like I'm making some progress here. Small steps to get all these GPUs working get some older ones rotated out and some new ones in. What are my plans for these RX 580s? Right now, they're going to collect some dust, and I'm okay with that. But in time, as long as they're still profitable, I want to get them up in mining again. But they are very low on the priority list because of the efficiency of those GPUs versus all the other ones I have that I need to get going. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram links are down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.